Hey there YouTube. Uh, today I decided to make a quick video about this little guy which is called a load switch or um, a switch pack. Sometimes they're called the same interchangeably. And basically what it is is a, a three-way um, relay or a triac rather that switches the 120 volt AC uh, using the 24 volt DC okay, uh, output from the traffic signal controller and the logic ground which is also tied to the signal controller. Okay, These guys plug into the back panel uh, of the signal cabinet whether it's a 332 cabinet or a uh, uh, NEMA uh, TS1 or TS2 signal cabinet and these guys plug in and basically they just serve as the light switch for each channel or phase that's in the cabinet really. Um, for a particular approach you've got uh, green, yellow, red. Um, this guy is what's doing all of the handiwork of switching the lights. Okay, The controller basically says it's time to switch to green. It provides 24 volt uh, DC logic ground to the uh, input. right? And then as you can see here I've got uh, an input light as well as an output light that just sh lights up as the load switch is doing its job because it grabs the 24 volt DC and uh, basically switches the 120 volt AC into the output that then in turn goes to the output side of the load switch providing voltage to your field wiring on your field terminals in your cabinet and then turning the light on in the field. So as simple as it gets, <clears throat> it's kind of doing a lot, right? Because you've got three inputs, you've got three outputs, and you've got a chassis ground as well as a logic ground and a 20, 24 volt uh, DC input as well as a 120 volts going through this guy. So sometimes these components can fail because there's a lot going on inside of them and they're running all the time. So it's wise as a traffic signal technician to carry a few of these on your truck and make sure they're good. Okay, um, I've seen them brand new come from the factory, not good, um, but typically they test them on the way out. Uh, and usually, if you pull them fresh from a box, you know that they're good. Um, uh, the reason why we have both input and output, if you can look here, lights, is so that way we know which way our voltage is traveling. Um, for the sake of troubleshooting. Some uh, switch packs or uh, load switches actually don't come with both lights, they'll just come with the input light enabled. And so sometimes you just have to verify your voltages are uh, coming out in your field terminals when uh, they're supposed to in order to, to rule that out if you're running into an issue with an indication uh, not lighting up or something with a conflict monitor you've got uh, you know a red fail coming up over and over again on the same phase could be the load switch and sometimes it's really easy to troubleshoot if you can see that you have an input coming in and no output coming in so uh, things like that for the sake of troubleshooting but I'm going to show you a uh, back panel here there's all different kinds of load switches right okay and down here you can see an older model uh, 200 and then this one is a newer uh, model like I just had in my hand and then here is an EDI uh, 510 notice this one does not have an input and output these are just inputs on this guy so um, but uh, today hopefully you are capable of learning a little bit about load switches and uh, I hope to make some more videos in the near future, but if you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Catch you later, YouTube.